I'm at the beach right now. It's, it's late right now. It's probably like, I don't know, 7.30 or something. Or more. Maybe 8 o'clock almost. It's still really warm. So we're going to hunt a little bit here. See what happens. You see they're growing way up there. Um, these are all um, grapes for wineries. One there, the other one. All the green areas. Years ago, there was nothing up there. Now it's all all lived in any flat areas. Now it's going to be grapes for wine. Nothing really there. That's all pretty new up there, I think. Some of it, a couple levels higher, but nothing on that side yet. But all this side. Okay. First coin here is a uh, little five peso or something. Five dollar Mexican. First coin. Hey, been there for a while. It was deep. The rays coming behind that cloud there. It looks awesome. It's outlined that cloud. Really cool. So just hunting here. Anything solid, like I got running pretty hot, so whatever solid, you'll hear it uh, loud and clear. I had a problem with this machine last time, it was uh, when it got too hot, it was malfunctioning. So I kind of cooled it down, trying to go a little deeper water. It seemed to kind of uh, when you overheat these machines, they don't run too good. And we're going to keep going. Just got a silver ring here. Been there for a long, long time. That's PI Power for you, man. One huge deep scoop. It's been down there for years. Is it a tow ring? No, it's spoken. It's been there for years. Like maybe 50 years. No, no, it's, it's a ring. See? Any pattern on it? Any writing. any writing pattern? Any writing? Can't tell. Well, it's an old ring for sure. It's hearts all the way around. Hearts around it? Yeah, they're little hearts. Okay, little hearts. Okay, well. It looks like it's missing a heart. Little hearts or something? No, because it's kind of somewhat broken. Oh, it's hearts. On the board with the ring. Okay, let's <laughs> move on. Yeah, I'm working up to my neck here. I got two nickels, two dimes. This area, I think I got a penny. Um, selling Meltec on a beach there. Who's Meltec on a beach there? Don't know. Might be the wife. The sister in law bought it, gave her a Meltec there. She bought one years ago off of me. But uh, I'm working on my neck here, see? Right here. I like to work real deep because most guys will not come this deep because it's really hard to achieve and then you start bouncing. So, anyways, there's coins here. It makes it interesting. So, Sometimes I come here, you don't find nothing like it's hit that hard, but who knows? We'll see. We keep keep moving yeah, along. I just got a toonie here. I got big money here. Two dollar coin. Gorgeous. At the fish for it is really deep, and you know it's been here for a long time. At least, laugh from last season, anyway. So think. Wait, it's all crusted. Okay, water's still nice, pretty good. Part right. of the spill. It's uh, loony next to it. Three dollars in the one hole there. So that's good. I think there's more there because I had problems pinpointing the stuff because it was just too many, too big of a signal, right? Okay. Just found another ring here. Yeah, don't use the gold. We'll find it. I just found another ring here, silver with a chain on it. Kind of unique looking. Yeah, there's guys that have it out there. Ring finders is a guy, you'll, if you lose a ring, you phone the ring finders. Oh, okay. He'll come out anywhere. He's, he's a good guy, he's a good friend of mine. Okay, so two rings. It's awesome. Put it in a secure little pocket here. So this machine's working really good. I'm getting old, old finds, and that means. Uh, Maybe they had storms here and got stirred up here and maybe guys aren't hunting here, who knows? Two rings is pretty good pretty good for now. There could be silver coins coming. Okay. Just found a golden beauty. I think it's a Chanel. I think it's Chanel. I 
Wow, persistence pays off. That's this feels super heavy, bud. I think it's Chanel with those uh, dots. Got it. I knew there was something here. It was right it's sitting right into the into the uh it's sitting right into the like um uh, like tree waste and stuff. Come here look, see if you can see anything here. I think it's a Chanel or something. See anything inside it? Nose ring. Nose ring. Any writing in it? It looks like the Chanel. Uh, Do you have a Chanel or something? No, it's or? not Chanel. Huh? It's, it's not Chanel. Bugari, maybe? Something like that. Is it Bugari? A, Cart a Cartier. That's a could Cartier. Cartier. I think it's yeah. Cartier. Is there any writing on it? Nothing inside. It could be a knockoff then. That's a different eh? Yeah. Well, this looks like gold. It's not super heavy, huh? I left your thing there. I was wondering what the fuck that was. Hmm. That's good. Good luck. Let's look at it and make sure it's real, but uh, it's yellow is yellow, right? And my second ring here, it's just a mood ring. It's copper, you can see this stuff here, so uh, just never know. Keep moving on. I got a loony so far. Um, dime, quarter, nickel, and something else is another dime, I think. This is day two, by the way. I'm a bit, little bit cold right now. It was kind of uh, rained earlier, but uh, it's not too bad right now. It's about 27, 28 Celsius. Okay. Okay, I found something that looks like a butterfly. It's actually got a lot of weight to it, but it looks like copper. Lots of weight actually. Hmm. Just jewels on it. Hmm. Kind of neat. Okay. Got some visitors here. Go to the campsite. Look at this. Come here. Is that gold? Where did they go? Oh, took off. I'm debating on this being gold or not, I'm not sure. I don't see any markings, but. It was deep, deep in the wood waste. It's like a knockoff ring, like a crochet or something. I don't think. Can't tell. I mean, it's got probably about five grams, I think. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Hmm. Just don't know. Sometimes a day later they start uh, peeling or discoloration. We'll see. It's cold now, sitting outside. Okay, well, I think that's it for the hunt. I did get um, a lot of trash. Those are the junk ring. Here's other uh, dependent or what it is. A lot of hair breadths in there. Some you could tell, but some you can't tell. Depends how they're sitting, I guess. We got another dime here of some sort. Oh, I see it. There it is, Canada. Okay, so that's it. 
Kylie does this ring here. Golden ring, anyways. Not sure if it's gold. Okay, that's it on this one. And also we got uh, this one here. Ghost Blizzard. The vape or something. Okay, that's it. I'm hunting a different beach now. We got someone with a like a hookah system, a battery powered one. I'm not sure if they're treasure hunting or what, but just found a bead here. I wonder how they know the battery. Looks gold. Uh, Can't tell, but it's uh, gold colored. Hmm. It's hard, hard to retrieve for a second there because it, it fell through the hole, right? Then I seen it in the sand and I put my hand in my scoop to get it so we're on uh, Skaha but I hunted that way that yesterday close to the airport on this side actually yesterday rained hard well didn't really rain yesterday we went to the family thing it rained this morning and it cleared up around five so that's why I'm hunting now okay Just found a ring here like a kid's ring wow. yeah, cool looking it's a kid's ring look but Look at the treasure in the water, see that? Wow. Isn't that cool? That's pretty. I don't think it's silver or nothing, but... It's still pretty. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. nice to find something that's out there. Yeah, good job. Yeah, thank you. Found an earring. I don't think it's silver, but... That's hard to say. It's tarnished looking, but... Uh, I have my doubts, to be honest. But... Uh, uh, picked up, I think, a quarter. Some little change. Not a lot, actually. It's pretty quiet. Bottle cap, pull tab. Okay, we keep moving. I got a little silver cross here. Looks like silver, I would think. Um, very hard to find. It kept bouncing, going through the holes here. So I put my hand below, pulled it out. So awesome. Nice little find. Nice save. Silver cross. Okay, well, that was good. I got the blingers today, all bling rings. Nice looking, but it's a bling. I did get by that bully there, I got five bucks and change. Probably about uh, eight, eight coins. Um, so that's two junk rings, look at that cross. And something else. Anyways, uh, sun's kind of in and out of these clouds here, it's kind of a pain. It gets cold, gets warm. Anyways, still gotta keep going. I'm gonna get to. I wanna go around that dock, that area there. So, okay. The chain here looks fake. It looks faded on the clasp area. Picked up pretty good. I bet you steel. Picked it loud and clear. For chain, but it's full of hair and stuff from a kid, probably. So much fake stuff in this lake, I'll tell you. But, anyways. Makes it exciting. Chains don't normally pick up that good. But uh, anyways, keep moving on. Got a gold earring here, maybe. Got quite a bit of weight to it. It's pretty deep, actually. Not seeing any obvious markings. So far, everything I find is unmarked, but uh, you never know. It's actually really deep. Took a couple of big scoops. Okay, well, kids' ring here. It looks like a ladybug. I don't think it's silver, or nothing, but uh, anyways, still ring. Found eight dollars so far. It sounds like a big overload. Eight dollars right now. Still more down there. Sound like a huge overload. Just wants to overload, like it's like uh, lots of coins here. Well, I'm not getting these things. i to figure out where the signal is. So many signals here. 
There's a big hole next to it, like someone else dug here already. Don't know. Oh, there's another one. That's ten dollars now. It's a two dollar coin, so there's five of those. There's still tons more. Look at here. It's overloading, like. I thought it was, uh, I got a lot of washers from all those buoys. Washers and nuts and bolts. Oh, look at $3 more, $13. Still more. Wow, it's gonna be a good day today. See how it's overloading? It's like there's unbelievable. Still more. I think I got it here. No. See? Just overloading. I think I got that one. Fourteen dollars now. Another dollar coin. Wow. You got most of them. Michael! Another one down here. Must have dug it deeper because when I was fishing around, the poor kid lost his money. Oh, that's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars one hole. Is there anything else there? I think that's it guys. 15 bucks, that's my record. $15 pocket spill. In the water. Wow. It, was, it kept overloading and thinking I can't get it. Where is it? Where is it? It seemed like there's a hole next to it, I thought. Okay, well, keep moving. I just found a scooper. I've been in here for a while. Sand is encrusting on it. The scooper thing. Huh. Yeah, this is my hunt here in Penticton. I uh, did about uh, two and a half hours first day, uh, just over two hours second day, and about three, three and a half hours the third day. Did get a pocket spill of $15, which was pretty good. Uh, here's my toonies, two dollar coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven toonies. Eight uh, dollar coins. Um, nine quarters, and then we got uh, eight uh, nickels, uh, 12 dimes. We got a Mexican five dollar coin right there. Also, got a, a car wash token for car wash, a couple of pennies. Um, did get this kind of a cool looking ring. I got this here. It's just probably some sort of nickel. It's not non magnetic, so. Hmm. Probably stainless steel or something. It's kind of a neat looking ring. I got a mood ring. A ladybug ring. I think I've had this a couple times before. I'm not sure if it's silver or not, but it's a ladybug. And here's another ring here. It's a, like an adjustable ring with a kind of a blue stone. It was cheap. Uh, I think this is, this is silver. It's got some hearts on there. It's broken. Silver. Um, I would say that's silver too. It's probably an old one. It's got a chain in the back. I 
Did get an earring. Oops. Can't tell if it's silver or what it is, to be honest. Uh, I didn't bring my loop here, so I can't see half these things here. Um, did get a gold colored bead. Uh, this is kind of nice here. I got a cross. I'm thinking it's silver. It looks like silver. Very tiny. Did get this um, butterfly. Chain here looks gold, but it's magnetic. Did get this earring here. Could be gold. Can't really tell. Not see any obvious markings or not, but. It's a nice. It was pretty deep, too. And I got this ring here, gold colored. Um, no markings inside there. It was in a wood waste, it was really deep. Just by the dock area. I think it's a knockoff of a Cartier or something. It's got those flathead screws that kind of like the design, like a flathead. But it's not tarnished, doesn't look worn or nothing, so I don't know. Can't confirm it, can't deny it, right? Um, so that's my total for about three days of hunting. Uh, but eight, eight, nine hours of hunting, I would think. Maybe ten hours at the most. Um, that's what it is. Oh, and also got this, um, it's actually, uh, for golfing or something. Uh, but it had a magnet on here. And it's stuck like this here with a magnet. Maybe you can spin it, I'm not sure what it's for, but. Found it in the water. This is Lakeside. Golf Club. The back has um, par four. I guess it tells you uh, all yards. Par five, five par four, four par four. Must be all the different um, golfing areas or something that they have. Kind of cool. Came in the water, not tarnished nothing. So kind of nice. Okay, so um, that's our hunt right now. Uh, this is inside my motorhome. I, I showed it before. It's got a washroom there with shower and sink, fridge, freezer, microwave oven, stove, sink. Runs off solar. The three three um, 80 watt solar cells with inverter. I mean, it's got everything you need. I sleep up here. You know, got a couple windows to the side and. AC up there So it's uh, pretty good This goes into bed that goes into table better table either way Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video um, can hunt some more uh, You know like these places are hit pretty hard and it's a little bit early in season, but I did get a lot of older finds. I've been sitting there for a while like these dimes you can tell they were there for a while and even this ring, like I say, it was it was in at least a foot down in a wood waste. It was it was all wood waste when I, you know when it came out. So I mean, it looks good. I mean, usually knockoff stuff is not marked, but still could be a junker. Don't know. Don't know to be honest. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like. As always, have a great day.